Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today we're taking a look at Microsoft Word. So this is going to be a beginner's tutorial. This is actually beginner's tutorial level two. I have a beginner to beginner's tutorial level one that I did uh, before that I'll put the link to that kind of goes over the basics. This is just going that extra step and uh, looking at some formatting, how to make your documents look a little bit better. For example, we'll be talking about uh, some of these uh, text boxes, how we can customize them or maybe putting in uh, some of these quotes, uh, putting in custom ones with even doing a curved uh, writing around the edges like this. But there's a lot more uh, to this. Look down in the description down below and I'll timestamp the different topics that I'll be talking about today in this tutorial. Take a look at the other uh, video that I'll have. Uh, I'll put the links down there too or in the card above if you're looking for other Microsoft uh, tutorials. Take a look. I'll put them there too. So let's get started today on this uh, beginner's level two for Microsoft Word. So I'm just going to go ahead and start recreating what I showed you in the introduction. And the first thing that I want to put into this document, this is just a blank document, haven't done anything to it yet. I just opened it. Uh, so I'm going to add some text to this. And to add some text to this, this is a really quick way to do this with just typing this formula. So if you press equal and then type lorem, and a bracket and then you think about well how much do you want to put in these are going to be paragraphs so I'm going to write uh, 30 and I can add more later if I want and I hit enter you can see it added text so this is just uh, for this tutorial here today just so I have some text to add now the next thing what I want to do is change my margins on this uh, on this first page and what I'm going to do is go up to my margins up here and just drop down and I'm going to go to custom margins. I'm not going to use one of these uh, presets here. I'm just going to go to custom. And what I want to do is on the right hand side, I'm just going to put, uh, actually I'll go with 3.3. And you can see now how it changed the margins, uh, kind of in thirds almost. But uh, I have this side and then you can see how it adjusted on it. So you can go through and adjust margins what, however you'd want. For my purposes, this is what I want. Now. What I want to do uh, is add a, a sidebar. So you could add, do it in a few different ways. You could add a text box and format it. I'm just going to go uh, over to insert. And uh, so you can see text box right here. So with text box, you could start with a simple text box and reformat it uh, and, and change things that you want. But I like actually starting from you know one that's already developed a bit. And you can see inside here there are quotes and everything. And I'll talk about quotes a little bit later. Uh, but you can go through and check which one you want. So I'm just going to go. And there's also more uh, from Office online you can see office.com but I don't need that I'm just going to choose this one right here so I'm going to click it you can see it inserted on the front page here uh, it's on the left hand side you don't have to have it on the left hand side so if I click it I can grab this and just bring it over here over to this side here and I can uh, grab when I grab the top you can see how you can move inside of it so depending on what box your, you want to adjust, you can go through and change those uh, just by dragging them around. So depending on which one you're on, you can see there's two different ones. Now I can quickly change the color of these two. So if I click on the edge here, and a lot of times I'll just right click and you can do everything from the top menu, but I like to right click when I do this. So I click and then I right click. You can see all the styles and the outlines right here. So if I wanted this to have a different fill, you can see how quickly I can change it like so. This down here has a, another one. So if I'm, I'm going to bring this up a bit. So if I wanted to keep that bar on the bottom, I just grab both there. So if I just click on the inside, bring this up here, there was another one right here that was already a different color. So again, if I click on it and right click on it, I can change the fill to maybe a different color like this. And you can see you can kind of play around with different uh, different looks to it uh, and pick different ones to go from. Like I said, you can start from a blank text box and do these same things. At this point, you just click in here and you can add your title. So I was had a, in my example, I had all about dogs. Uh, so I'll just say this issue 
and then we you would write whatever you want inside of here you can go and actually even format inside so if i go uh, back to the layout up top here i can change my margins in here so if i go ahead and just uh i'm going to just type example in here just for uh, saving time here you can see if i have the left margin and then i've all of a sudden i change this to two Yep, that's too much so if I change this to uh, let's just change this to one here you can see now it's moved over so you can adjust margins right inside of this so the other thing that I did was uh, also put an image in so I'm gonna go and insert my image again so we're just gonna we're just gonna go to insert I'm gonna go from online here and I just had a picture of a dog and I'll just type in dog here and let's just put this image here so i'll just click insert and now you're starting to see the layout like i showed you in the example so all i did was in the example was just type out the things in here and change my font and then went through and adjusted uh, a title and just started making my document. So these text, uh, these text boxes that you can put on the side can really change the document. Now, if I was gonna keep changing the document, uh, notice that my margins are, are the same down here. Uh, so maybe I wanna adjust them. So if I go to this here and I go back to my margins, so if I'll just go back to my layout and go to my margins here and go back to custom and I'm going to just turn this to back to one and I don't want to go to the whole document I just want to go to this point forward and hit OK so now I have my margins that are on this page and then I have my margins are on this page because now what I can do if I go uh, to under my layout and go to my columns and I want two columns on this one so now I have two columns on this page and then we can go through and you can see how this page doesn't have it if i click it's just on the margins but now on this page i'm able to separate it so as you go through a document and creating it you might want to change back and forth so on this next part i'm just going to show you how to do a custom quote with the curved writing around the edge of the circle what i showed you in the intro so in this next page, I want to put a pull quote right into the middle of this. And I already showed you uh, inside uh, the insert, just with the text boxes where you can insert text box. You can see there's quotes in here. So if I just grab this and plunk it, you can plunk a quote right in the middle. It makes it easy to change. You can write what you want. I actually have the quote uh, already copied. You can see, uh, and I can, who is it cited by? So I can move it around, make my adjustments. So very quick way to add your quotes uh, to it. So I'm just going to delete this actually, because I want to do a, a custom one here. And what I want to do is I'm going to do it with a shape and I'm going to do a couple different things and do that curved line, writing on the curved line, which I showed you kind of a little bit of a hack for that. So I'm going to go to insert here and I'm going to go to circle right here. And I'm going to plunk a circle right here in the middle. That's pretty good like that. And I'm going to make some adjustments here. So if I click on this one, the layout options, I want it to be fixed to a position and I'm going to use this for text wrapping. You can kind of see how it uh, went around it like this. So what it fixed does. So if I start typing uh, something in here, you can see if I hit enter, nothing's going to move. So that's why I, I did it that way like that. The other thing you might want to adjust uh, even with your uh, font here. So if I highlight the font and maybe go to justify. So if I go to justify and it just goes around maybe a little bit nicer around it, but these are all things that you guys, you can adjust on your own. So what I want to do is add text in here. So I'm going to just uh, right click on this one and I'm just going to go ahead and paste. So I've copied something, uh, just quotes here and there's it, the, there's the quote and I can do some adjustments to this uh, on it. So maybe I want it a little larger uh, to fit the box, maybe like that. Uh, italic, italic here and I'm just editing through here but you can edit it up top if you don't have that coming up but so there's my quote so uh, very quickly and I could add some effects to this so if I uh, if I click on it you can see how quickly I could change any of this uh, here uh, if you right click I can uh, go more layout options uh, on it and uh, fix everything so in the positioning inside of it so you can adjust all these different things so you can uh, right click uh, format shape uh, and you can see over here 
on this side here that you get even these options. So what I could be doing if I wanted to, let's say have the effects, maybe a little shadow to this and we'll go, uh, we'll just go shadow drop down and just like this one. So you can see a little bit of a shadow is added to it. Okay, so now the next thing what I wanna do is add uh, add that circle path there uh, to the side of it. So this is by Groucho Marx. And so I'm going to put Groucho Marx right here. I'm going to insert another shape, insert, and I'm going to go back and I'm just going to do a text box this time. So simple text box. And I'm just going to grab his name here. I just have it, uh, everything on a different sheet and I'm just going to put it in here. So I right click and when I right click and paste, I'm just pasting without any um, attributes of what I've copied it with. So I can move it. I'm going to make this, I have to make this larger here. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I also want it to be in white. And so I'm just going to uh, highlight. So I'm just going to go back to home here, uh, change my font to white to match everything and I'll, I'll keep it smaller on it so now what i'm going to do actually i'm going to go back step i'm going to keep it black and change it white after so you can see what i'm doing better i'm going to go uh, to uh, click on this shape here and now i'm going to go to shape format and text effects so down at the bottom you have tra uh, transform and I, you can see how I have these different ways I can put this. So I'm going to choose uh, this one like this. And I'm going to I'm going to get rid of this background here pretty soon uh, so it's see through. I'm just going to keep it so I can you can see. So as I turn it around I can adjust. So I'm just doing this circular thing to adjust where I would want it and notice that everything else is moving so I can make the same adjustments. So maybe I want it like this. I'm going to move it back over over on here. I'm going to hold shift down and then just uh, increase this proportionally to see. And you can adjust it and just get it the way you want. But now, and I showed you before, I like to right click. Uh, so when you click back in it, it looks like it when you lost everything, but you didn't. It just, as you click in it to edit it, it changes. But if I click on, uh, if I right click on this one and just go to fill and drop down, I'm going to go to no fill. And the other thing, I don't want an outline around there either. So I'm going to go to no outline. And remember what I said, I wanted this white. And then, so I'm just going to go back and change this text to white here and click off it. And I can keep adjusting this the way, you know, uh, the way you want. You can keep moving it to get it perfectly lined up. You can you might even want to change the shape a little bit more to keep adjusting, but you can do this with different shapes and everything that you pick. Uh, so give that a try. It just makes it look, uh, you know, a little bit different than just your typical inserts that you do uh, from your quotes that are already created for you and gives you that little bit of customization options. So another way to make your document look more professional is using SmartArt. Uh, so SmartArt, I'm just going to go down to my next page here and I'm going to insert it right here. Under Insert, so if we go up top to Insert, uh, SmartArt right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one and it's going to open up this and I have an option. I'm just going to start with something simple and I'm going to show you how easy it is to change it. So I'm going to select this just a three step one vertical box list and I'm just going to hit OK and I'll type in some information here. So you can see you just click in it and you can just simply type what you want. Now I could actually delete uh, individual one so I could click in it you can see I have this one selected and now I'm down to two I'm just gonna go control Z and put that one back you can uh, put, drag it to different places too if you grab the edge you can see uh, how you can drag it over in places and you can change the different wrapping on it I'm just gonna put it back to where I had it before and to quickly make it to make changes on it I'm just gonna double click on this and you can see up top I can make the quick adjustments here to change uh, how it, uh, the layout is. So quickly, some really neat effects that you can change it. Or I could drop down and go to something completely different and my text stays the same. So I can even go to more layouts and make uh, even more adjustments to it. Uh, you can see uh, all the different ways that you can 
adjust these uh, to get exactly what you want. So I hit OK. You can see now and it's a different form. You can change the colors on this too. So you can see if I go up top here, uh, I can quickly make adjustments to the colors uh, right through here, all the different accents on it. So again, these are it's a great way to make your documents look more professional and easy to uh, move around and to adjust and put your uh, messages that you want to draw out inside your documents. Did you know you could insert video into Microsoft Word? If you're sharing a digital copy with somebody, you could be putting videos in and then uh, sending it to them and then they can be clicking on those and opening up the video. So if I'm on this page right here and I want to insert a video, I could go uh, up to insert. Whenever we put anything in, we're going to insert and then we go to online video right here. So if I go ahead and click on this one, I have a few a couple different options. So from a video embed code. So if you're like on Vimeo or something or uh, even YouTube, you can get the embed code. So if I go, uh, I'll just go for an example, this one right here. So here's my Microsoft Word video. If I go up to share here, I can get the embed code here right through here. So I'm going to just go copy and now I'm going to go back to my Word uh, document and then I'm just going to paste the embed code right here and go ahead and insert that and you can see the video uh, goes in here so if I click on it it's ready to go so another way that we can do this is if uh, I'm just going to delete this one here and if I insert uh, make sure so you're under insert video and this time you can do a search right inside here so if I was looking for a word uh, tutorial and you can see there it is right there insert and then we have uh, we have the insert in so you could be saving this document sending and when they click on it the link will be there and will play from there I have much longer hair on that one all right so that's just a quick way something overlooked a lot of times inside Microsoft Word that you can use the embed code or insert right from YouTube uh, to put videos into inside your documents so I want to leave you today with a couple more time-saving tips. Uh, and this works well if you have a certain business color or business font, a brand uh, that you want to be able to, when you open a document, that it's ready to go and you have those colors available right away. You can set those as default. So first of all, let's... Uh, th to think about your font. So you might have a certain font you have with your business and rather than changing each time when you start up your document, what you can do, make sure you're under the home ribbon up top here and then go to font. You can see this little square. Just go ahead and click on this one and open it up and you have your font here. So at this point, you can go through and pick what font you'd want and then pick what font style, font size in here. So if you wanted a larger one you knew you were working with, you can go through and pick all these options. When you get what you want, you just go click set as default. And you can see you can have this document only or all documents based on the normal template. So that means if I choose that second one, anytime I open, open up a document after that point, it's already going to be defaulted to that font that I selected here. So it can be just, again, just saves you a couple steps and everything's set. You don't have to be looking for what font it is. So to set a default color theme for your Microsoft Word every time you open it up, so maybe you have that brand that you always want to make sure you have access to the same colors, uh, this is what you do. Make sure you're uh, in the ribbon, you go up to design this time, and then you can see if you go over here, we have colors. I'm going to drop down, and then down here we have customized colors. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And at this point, this is where you can pick your color. So I can go through, and I can name it something. So maybe I name this brand. And I can go through, I'll keep these colors the same. And if I go ahead and drop down here, so if I want some accent colors, I could go to, I could select one of these if I knew that was the color I wanted, or go to more colors. Now, if you have your red, green, uh, blue RGB color from your business or brand, you can plunk these in here. So if you have like three colors or so or more, you could put them all in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put random ones in here. So I'll put this color blue here. And then I'll go to another one and I'll pick, uh, I'm just going to pick this red and I'm going to pick another one, this yellow, just to show you where it will show up. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And I had this selected, so that's why it changed on that one. But if I was going to go through, and this works for font or even coloring of your uh, different things that you put into it, if I go ahead and just uh, select this, I'm just right clicking and drop down, 
you can see here under themes, these were the three colors that I picked in here. So I have easy, quick access to them. And under here, I just they give you different accents of those same colors uh, so you can quickly get to them or just uh, maybe a variation of them. If you want to set this as your default, so you just go up here and you can see set as default. And if I go ahead and select that, set the current uh, style theme, you know, to, now th these settings will be applied to all new blank canvas or uh, blank documents. And then so when you open that up, that will be your one of your default color scheme again, saving you some time on it. Anytime you can go back if you wanted to change it. I could right click on this. You can see how I can uh, edit or delete it right from here. So I hope you liked uh, today's tutorial on Microsoft Word here, kind of a still beginners. I, I'm classifying this one. I was trying to save you some time or show you some ways to make your documents just look a little bit more professionally, uh, professional. Uh, if you have any other things you'd like to learn in Microsoft Word, let me know in the comments down below uh, what type of things you're looking for and I can start working towards more tutorials on Microsoft Word. Thanks for watching this week on Teachers Tech. I'll see you next time with a new tutorial.